everyone and welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews. I buy all the gear so you don't have to and today I want to go over not a particular bag or a piece of apparel but a fabric type and that's specifically Mission Workshop's black camo. Mission Workshop makes I believe all of their bags in a black camo version from their rucksacks to their cargo bags to their recently released field pack um, finally also their uh, um, shoulder bag series and their messenger bags so it's uh, it's a material that Mission Workshop really likes to incorporate into all of their bags so what I wanted to do was I wanted to talk a little bit about their black camo and specifically is it worth it because there is a premium involved on these so um, <clears throat> what I have here um, this is the black camo vandal um, as always I always like to um, test their top of the line versions whenever I can so as far as bags go um, this is three hundred and uh, sixty-five dollars for this bag. Um, the regular Vandal is three twenty-five. Now I will say um, the black camo version on the cargo bag, the Vandal and the Rambler, comes with the Cobra buckle. This bag does not have the Cobra buckle. Um, just truth be told, currently I'm using a black Rambler EDC, black Cordura. I through the Cobra on there. Well, anyway, if you're interested in learning more about the Cobra buckle and whether that add-on is worth it, you can check out my video on the archive review and I also covered the Cobra buckle there. So back to this. First I want to say, before I forget, there are actually two types of black camos. There's the real black camo, which is this, which Mission Workshop uses almost exclusively. And then, about six months ago, so check the posting date of this video, six months ago, they ran out of this black camo, or there was a national shortage in the black camo industry, I don't know, and they used a lighter version. So, I'm not saying it looked like this, this is their regular camo version that they made for the VX21 fabric but it was kind of somewhere in between this really cool black camo and this straight up regular camo so um, those bags are whack I still think the uh, sanction that you can get on their webpage is in this lighter black camo I mean for me the cool part is the black camo um, I think it's really work appropriate but also has that really cool urban chic, urban explorer niche that her mission workshop kind of uh, tries to go for. Also something really cool which I never noticed and they don't advertise um, until I got my hands on one and um, sorry guys as any regular follower of mine knows I have the worst lighting in the world again uh, taking donations for better lighting if anyone wants to hit me up in the comments um, but uh, it says in very small print, uh, let me find a, a good one for you, here's one, this one's upside down, but um, hang on a sec, let's see here, oh you're not, you guys, oh yeah you can see, um, if you see right there, let me back away so it's lighter for you, well, anyway, it says multicam. So, uh, anyway, that's kind of cool. Um, little trick of the trade with some camo. Uh, I work in the defense industry, and I know that uh, when Marines wear Navy uniforms um, on their Navy issued Marine uniform, it says Marine Corps on their navy fatigues to kind of separate them when they're wearing their navy fatigues from the sailors and the marines. Anyway, little inside defense uniform stuff, but I pay attention to that type of crap. Anyway, so if you're going to order the Vandal, that's a 
$40 difference um, between a regular Vandal. And you're thinking to yourself, well, hey, I get a Cobra buckle, and if you wanted to get the Cobra buckle on a regular bag, it's in that $65 add-on. So I thought to myself, are you getting a deal on the Cobra buckle for upgrading to black camo? Or is the Cobra buckle just $65? Which I tend to think that is the retail price. That is like the actual price because Cobra buckles aren't made by Mission Workshop or they're made by Cobra. Are the black camo bags just kind of worth less? So some of the research I've done Black Camo, um, at least in certain iterations, was a 500D. Now it's advertised on their new refresh website as 1000D, which is what their VX Cordura is. Um, so that's a, that's a better material. So I, I can't tell you if this is 500 or 1000. I will tell you it does have a very nice hand. It's more supple, um, which would let, lead me to believe it's kind of like wool. The, the more... Uh, thread count per inch, if you will, higher the number. It's like bed sheets, maybe you would you would understand that better, perhaps. Um, so it does feel more supple than, you know, this is just my regular 500D Rambo. This, this is way more burly and rough feeling. Um, anyway, so, you know, is it worth it? I don't know. Um, I think aesthetics play a lot to it. I do think they overcharge, especially if you look in their messenger lines, the, the price points for the upgrade on um, the black camo is just a few dollars short from VX. And remember, with the VX, you're going to get the PET membrane liner, which is that really nice white liner in the backpacks, with very thick, almost truck tarpaulin liner in the messenger bags. And you're also getting the ripstop diamond pattern, which any regular viewers of this uh, of my uh, uploads no I'm a big fan of so the black camo you get neither um, the inside is the same as a regular um, vandal um, my personal vandal is the old school digi camo version which was made probably five years ago and the inside is very similar a little different this is better rubberized bottom and the inside of the pockets here also seem to be a thicker consistency. Um, I haven't had my hands on a new non-black camo vandal re uh, recently, so I don't know if that's across the board or just a little upgrade for the black camo version, but anyway, just some little uh, <clears throat> details I noticed that I wanted to share um, with you guys uh, if you're interested in knowing more about um, some of the materials that Mission Workshop uses. So, uh, my final determination is black camo if you really, really like it, get it. But I think you're pretty much paying for the aesthetic. If you want, if you want an upgrade in your materials and your construction and your waterproofness or weatherproofness, if you will, um, just spend a little bit extra. When I say a little bit extra, I mean ten dollars more, and go for the VX because their their baselines are are. are pretty reasonable like you know a Monte or let's do a, a Rummy is 185 for the basic Cordura and they have that new advanced HT500 I don't know too much about that that's like a midway point you get the cool archive buckles um, but then it goes black camo which is like 289 or something uh, and then you can get a wax canvas which is a whole different ball game and you know the natural fabrics I did a review on the wax canvas Rummy, you can check out. Uh, but then for just like $5 more, you can go VX, which for me changes the game. Go VX if you're looking to upgrade materials. Go black camo if you just like the look of black camo. And I don't blame you. It's, it is a nice look. It is office appropriate camo. Then again, I work in the defense, so everyone kind of wears camo in my office, but I still think you can pull it off because, I mean, portions of it look black. This is almost all black. You, know, you can see a little camo in here and up here, but these side panels are black. So anyway, just want to share that with you guys, and uh, I'll be back soon with uh, more videos. Thanks for watching.